I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. <laughs> Do you see dots, circles, lines, or cobwebs floating around in your vision? These are called floaters. So what are floaters? Well, there's a gel in the back of the eye called the vitreous. And as we age, this gel changes over time. It can form clumps or strands. And we see this in our vision as floaters. You may notice your floaters more in bright lighting conditions, especially with a blank background. So if you're looking at the sky or the snow or a blank computer screen or a blank wall, you will see them more. So let's talk a little bit more about the vitreous gel. This is a jelly-like substance that fills the back part of the eye and is attached to the back wall of the eye, which is lined by the retina. I kind of like to picture this like an egg white attached to the back of an eggshell. And so as we age, this gel changes over time and it will slowly turn into a liquid. So now the remaining gel is smaller or shrunken and it will also shift its position in the eye. It will move forward and it will pull away from its attachments on the back of the eye. And as this happens, when the vitreous pulls away from the retina, we call this a posterior vitreous detachment. Some patients will experience a large floater when this happens and some will not. Um, this is a normal process. However, we worry that as this normal process is taking place, some problems could occur. So as that gel is pulling away from the retina, it could tug on the retina and possibly cause a tear or a hole, and that may lead to a retinal detachment. It may also tug on the a blood vessel in the retina, and this could cause some bleeding in the back of the eye. So some important retinal warning signs for patients to be aware of are if you experience any of the following. So if you have a shower of floaters in your vision, or several large new floaters, or if you have a lot of flashing lights, or a dark curtain comes down over your vision in any direction, these are all reasons that you wanna go and visit your eye doctor for a dilated exam right away. They wanna check your retina and make sure you don't have any problems that would require treatment. Some people are more prone to developing floaters, and that would include people who are very nearsighted, or if you have a history of cataract surgery, eye injury, or eye inflammation. And I would say one of the most common questions that people will ask is, are my floaters gonna go away or is there some kind of treatment for my floaters? So generally the answer to this is no. The floaters will not go away, but on the good side, a large majority of people have, uh, basically the brain will adapt over time and it will learn that it's not supposed to pay so much attention to the floaters. And so over time, and this might be weeks or it might be months, it depends on the person, um, over time, you will notice them less and less. But remember, they are still there, so you will still see them from time to time, especially in bright lighting, as I mentioned. Um, and then there's a smaller group of people that may continue to experience really severe and persistent floaters. And some of those people will require surgery or laser, but that is not at all common. So hopefully this helps you explain why you're seeing little things float around in your vision and when you need to go see your eye doctor. And um, if you live in Michigan and you're having these problems, then you can come and see me, Amanda Salter. And I work at Shame Bomb Eye Specialist in Berkeley, Michigan. Um, and thank you so much. I hope you learned about floaters today. <laughs>